Sheep dip would have been better. Hey, let me show you how to open it. I was raised on a bottle. <laughs> Give me back my hair, Tony. Hello, Hoppy. How are you, Buck? Well, you made a quick trip. I'm glad to see you again. Thanks, Buck. Well, there you are. Enough to make that payment on the ranch and a lot left over besides. Yeah, that's great. That's better than I expected. Hey, where's Johnny? I got a little present for him. Well, he's somewhere around if he hasn't gone to town. He's been riding high, wide, and handsome lately. Hoppy! How are you, Johnny? How you been? Me, I'm always all right. I'm glad you think so. Oh, uh, here, I got something for you. Oh, gee, Hoppy, thanks. Them are sure nice. Uh, you look like the tail end of a hard winter. What have you been up to? Nothing. Why? How about you and me having a little talk? There ain't nothing to talk about. Well, from the way you look and what I've been hearing, there's plenty to talk about. Hey, Buck. How about letting me have a few dollars? You're overdrawn now, Johnny. Oh, give the kid a few dollars, Buck. No. Well, give him some of mine. I'm not handing out any money to be thrown away over a gambling table. Now, nah, keep your money. And you keep out of my affairs. I'm tired of being the tail end of your kite. And you can keep those, too. Thanks for nothing. Who's that kid been mixing with? I don't know. But ever since you've been away, he's spent a lot of time in town. Looks like I'll have to dress him down a bit.
glad these bonds and deeds arrived. I thought it was full of money. No, not this time. Oh. That old sourdough's got more curiosity than a cat. He sure has. You know any other tricks? I, uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. I. You could just pick them up. Put that back. I hope there's a worm in it. There was. Water. What'd you find out? Stage got in, but there weren't no money on it. There's that bar 20 kid again. I wonder if he's got any more money with him. What do you want to bother with him for? You got everything he had yesterday. Every little bit added to what you got makes just a little bit more. What's the matter? You feeling weak today? Give me a man size. That's a ticket. How's things at bar 20? All right. You better have your fun before Hopalong Cassidy gets back to ride herd on you. <laughs> I already told him to keep out of my affairs. And he's back from Omaha. Yeah, he's back. How did he make out selling them cows? How does he always make out? He made a deal, and judging from the big roll he brought back home, he got top prices. Ah, what do we care about him? Come on in and meet the boys. Hey, Tom, send us in some of that good liquor. Good liquor? Good liquor. Look who I found, boys. Come on in and join the party. Sit down, son. Make yourself at home. Have a drink. Ah, uh, give me a man-sized drink. <laughs> that outfit don't give somebody else a chance to do something now and then. All the time it's Cassidy. Cassidy. I bet you could have made as good a deal for them cattle as Cassidy did. Just as good as Cassidy. 
I'll show him sometime. How about a game of cards? Suits me. I told you I got no money. You can't fool us that away. I bet you got bank notes in every pocket. Come on, kid. Loosen up. I got no money, I told you. Buck wouldn't give me none. He had plenty of it spread out all over the table. Thousands of dollars he had. Thousands. And he wouldn't give me none. He wouldn't give me none. Wake up. Come on, wake up. Well, now, that's what I call downright stingy in Mr. Peters and Mr. Cassidy. Arizona, you and Hoskins saddle up the horses. We're gone call. The young idiot. Here's that good uh, liquor. Hey, Nelson. Hey, he can't sleep here. This ain't a hotel. Get back to the bar and stay there. And don't let anybody come in here. Savvy? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. I can see a windswept sky when the clouds stampede the sun. <laughs> I can hear the coyotes crying when my day's work is done and the sage grass turns through the clink of my spurs it's the call of the prairie in my heart komataya yippee yippee yay let's see you do it again hoppy that's all there is to it lord where are you all going <laughs> Next thing we know, Poppy will be having you walk a tightrope. <laughs> Wait a minute. Now let's see you do it. If I ever chance Say, I'd like to see Johnny hung up in this thing. I'll bet he'd fight it like a wildcat. Well, you ain't doing so bad yourself. <laughs> Come here, I'll take it off. There you are. I'll show you again. It's the coal on the prairie in my home. Home Let me try. All right, it's easy. Yippee-yay. <laughs> <laughs> All the temperate jokes. <laughs> Ginger, very well, nice. Sure. Ooh, that stuff's hot. You like them good? Make them <laughs> feeling bad. You eat too much. There. <laughs> yeah. Wong, try this. Wong, no savvy. Oh, come on. It won't hurt you. Come on, put your finger right in there. I'll put the other one in. Good and tight. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Stick him up. Hand over that money that Cassidy brought. Throw it out the door. Stand where you are and don't make a move, or it's going to be mighty unhealthy for you.
Clark. What happened? Who shot you, Buck? Who was it? I can't... I can't believe it. Johnny wouldn't... Give me a lift into the bedroom with him, boys. Wong, get some hot water. All right. Hey, come on, get up. Come on, get up. What do you have, gents? Out of here, go on. Well, I'll be hanged. Nothing but old bills and receipts. Well, the dirty crook. Come on, wake up. Wake up. Come on, shake it up here. Come on. Where does Peters keep his money at the ranch? In the safe, in the living. Why? That's what was in the safe instead of money. You robbed the ranch. It takes more than a bunch of cheap crooks to get the best of Buck Peters. Why don't you go and try again? We would. Only you shot Buck Peters last night and they'll be looking for us. I shot Buck Peters? That's a lie. I've been sleeping here all night. Where's my gun? Maybe you dropped it someplace. Listen, Nelson, you're lucky to be alive and you got just one chance to stay that way. If you keep your mouth shut and do as you're told, we may find some use for you. Save your breath. I'm heading home to find out how much damage you skunks did. I wouldn't if I were you. The evidence is too strong against you. You wrapped up the stuff from the safe in your bandana last night and left a lot of other tracks behind you. I what? You're sure careless about leaving tracks. Why, you won't. No, you don't. You're in this and you're going to stay in it. I will, will I? Don't shoot, she'll get bored. Look out, I'll get him. You want to bring the whole town down on our ears? Time up. Take him up in the hills and see that he don't get back. And if ever I see him again, it'll be just too bad for you. Get him out of here. All right, boy, come on. How you feel this morning, Buck? They weren't very good shots. They, they nearly missed me. <laughs> did you see any of their faces? Nearly one. But you did see something. And you think it was Johnny. The young fool. But there'll be no more of it. I'm sending for the sheriff today. Buck, no matter what you think, Johnny couldn't do a thing like that. It ain't in him. I know how you feel about him, Hoppy. Just like he was your kid brother. But you gotta forget that. He's changed. But some things don't change. Johnny's been getting pretty thick with the tough gang that's drifted into Twin Rivers lately from Wyoming. Oh, we all go through that sort of thing. Yeah, I know all about that. But this show looks bad for Johnny. The sheriff has got... Buck, I'm gonna take that money into the bank, and I'm gonna find out what's back of all this. Well, I... I... Twelve hours is all I want. After that, you can send for the sheriff. Is it a bargain? Well, all right, but I... Good. I... Now, you lie there and take it easy. Oh, yes. Won't go with you. Shoot that man, me catch him. No, not this time, Wong. You stay here, take care of boss. All right. How's Buck? Oh, he's a lot better. Is this all set? All set. Now, you boys stick close here, will you? You can depend on that.
，叫我喺呢树架里，我一定唔制咗咯，我一定系要去咗咯，无论点样我系要去咗。Looks like this might be a good spot. Right over here. Hurry up there, will you? I ain't got all day to wait. It's getting cold out here. Of course, that's your grave, son. But if it was mine, I'd dig it a little bit longer. I'm through digging. Come on and shoot and get it over with. I'll shoot you when I get darn good and ready, and not a four. Now get digging. Lucky it's me taking care of this instead of Sam Porter. He's got a patchy streak in him. Staking people out on anthills is more to his liking than just plain shooting. I mean, shooting ain't so bad. Special when you when you got a good shot like me. Why have you heard that hanging is twice as painful? Yeah. <laughs> Supposing I change my mind and go in with Porter. Too late, son. Shut up. Start digging. Think I got all day to wait? Him now. Didn't I tell you he'd be riding in town to put that money in the bank? Don't miss. so you can't hit the side of a barn. Now we'll have to run him down. Come on.
，我也等他一帮的了。What are you doing here? Won't help. I catch him. Can no shoot. Look. Get back to the ranch before you kill somebody. Come on, boy. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come on. That a boy. You'd better take a good drink, partner. We're going a long way from here. Oh, it's you again, clumsy. Yes, I... Uh, and you, you tried to drown me. Yes, I... No! I, I'm i sorry, ma'am. I, I tripped. I suppose I'll have to forgive you this time. It'd be nice if you did, Miss... Uh... You may call me Linda, if you like. I sure would like to. You uh, you live near here, Miss Linda? My father's working a mining claim up the trail from here. And I live with him. Oh. Well, uh, can I, uh, can I take you home? All right. Give me a hand here. Hi, lads, give us a hand. Oh, who shot him? Don't ask so many questions. You'll have plenty to do later on. Just lock that up and take care of it till I get back. Well, I'm the sheriff around here, and I demand to know what happened. Hey, bring him in. I'll lock him up. Morning, Jim. Hello, Mr. Cassidy. Sit down. What? What you got? Something for us? Yeah, I got a little money for you. That's good. I want you to deposit this to Buck Peter's account. Ooh, quite a tidy little sum, ain't it? Yeah, and I'm mighty glad to get rid of it, too. Well, we'll take care of it for you. Don't worry. Why, we've got the best safe in this country. That's good. Get it right in there. I'll do that. I'll take care of it. Is this where you live? Yes. Well, I... I reckon this is just about as far as I'll be going. What's the matter? Well, I... I got into a bad mess. I'm just about as welcome around these parts as smallpox right now. 
It wasn't your fault, was it? Well, no, not exactly, but I got to keep out of sight until I can clear myself. Oh, I'm sure you can do that. You come along with me and stay at our place. Father won't mind. What's his name? Charles McHenry. Do you know him? No, ma'am. I reckon he's one of the real nice people I ain't been meeting lately. Dad's got company. I better keep moving. There's no use of me getting you mixed up into my trouble. Well, you wait in the barn, and I'll see who it is. How many times have I got to tell you not to come bouncing in here like that? She must have known I was here. I did not. What can a good-looking fellow like me do to please you? You can take your feet off the furniture. <laughs> She's getting to be quite a grown-up lady. Porter, I don't like the way you're shining up to my Lindy. What's more, I don't want her to know nothing about what's going on around here. You mean to say that she don't know that Shanghai Charlie McHenry's got sheriffs looking for him from Montana to Texas? Shut up. And the man that tells her that ain't going to do no more telling about nothing. You understand? Well, you don't need to get so touchy about it. Quit squabbling. And let's talk about how we're going to get Tom Slade out of jail before Cassidy makes him talk. You'll be waking the dead. Oh, have a little drink, Fanny. Pronto. Hold your horses. I'll get you out of here. Hurry up. <sighs> Let's give the poor old prisoner a little drink. Yeah. Hey! No, no, ma. I never let my prisoners have drinks. It's against my rules. <laughs> well, ears up. And the diamond hits you around the middle. Hi, Tom. Well, bless my boots, but ain't hop along, Cassie. Ain't seen you for a month of Sunday. When did you see Johnny Nelson last? Well, now, let me see. Come on, talk fast. Oh, yes, he was here last night. Who was he with? Oh, with some fellas that have uh, been hanging around here quite a lot lately, doing a lot of gambling and drinking. Who are they? Well, there's uh, Porter, he's head man, and a couple of other fellas. Did Johnny leave here with them? No, Johnny left early this morning with... Uh, Old Shanghai, a miner. Where can I find this fellow Shanghai? 
He has a claim south of town here, the Granite Mountains. Thanks, Tom. But if I hear you've said anything about this little talk, I'll skin you alive. Hey, that's a darn good shot, you know it. Well, if I do set it myself, I'm one of the best around these parts. Well, I ain't so bad myself. Let's well, see. Look at it. Now, what? <coughs> Can you hear it from here? Still close. It's all right for an amateur, but a professional, stand way back here. Get those keys. Let me put this fellow in the saddle. You rebel! I can't have you take the medicine! That'll teach you to keep your nose out of other people's business. Now get in there! Think I'm just holding what I got? What you say, you don't need to hang with my. They. Go yet, think. That's right, Sandy. Take care of this skunk. And if you need any help, just call on me. on my horse, will you? What's the matter, Uncle? Can't you make it? Sure, I can make it. Where is your horse? Hey, yes. Come on. Whoopee! Oh, boy. Make her easy now. <sighs> Young fella, you'll never know what a favor you've done. Well, do yourself a favor and stick on there now. Here you go. Whoopee! brains doing in there? I catch them robbers. Where well, is when he catch them warm? I've been tricked. I've been robbed. Where's the key? On the desk. Sheriff, huh? Come on, get out of there. You've got a lot of talking to do. All right. All right. Not you, nitwit. <laughs> Come on, Slade. Let's get out of here. Shanghai, huh? That's the old coot I helped on his horse a while ago. Now I'm beginning to see daylight. I know the red cahoots. You go catch them rubber. Won't help. You get back to the ranch where you belong. Rubber poo nose. Won't catch them poo nose, too. No, no. Come on. You back to the ranch. Come on, get. <laughs> Never mind me. Look after Bill back there. How much they get? They got everything. I saw Porter and two men a few minutes ago riding hard up the North Trail. You know any of them besides Porter? No, they was kicking up so much dust I could hardly see them. I'm sorry I fell asleep. Oh, you must have a clear conscience. 
Oh, I ironed this for you. This would look mighty pretty on you. Do you mind keeping it? <laughs> oh, I brought you something to eat. Hungry? Boy, am I hungry. Here's the table. Put it right there. There. Mmm, this is good. I'm glad you enjoy it. Those men just gobble it down without knowing what they're eating. Are they still here? No, they're all gone. Who are they? Well, one of them's named Porter, and I don't know the other two. But I don't like any of them, and I wish Dad would tell them all to keep away. Is your dad any... any nickname? Oh, I've heard him call Shanghai. Shanghai? That's the outfit that shot Buck and put the blame on me. Shanghai's the worst of the lot. I don't believe it. And you ought to be ashamed of yourself to say such a thing. My dad's a fine man. Well, I guess your dad's no worse than the rest of them. That's enough, Mr. Nelson. You better be traveling. Yes, ma'am. And I hope they get you. I reckon you're gonna get your wish right now. You stay here and I'll talk to him. Excuse me, ma'am. Well, I seem to be lost. Could you direct me to a man named Shanghai that owns a mine hereabouts? Never heard of him. Oh, that's too bad. I wanted to see him. And some of his friends. I don't know them. That's a mighty pretty kerchief you got there, ma'am. Did you ever meet up with an hombre named Nelson? No. You don't seem to know much, do you? Well, I'm not lost. <laughs> All right, you win. In case you do meet up with Nelson, give him this gun. He might need it. Thanks very much for all the information, ma'am. He sent you this. Who was he? He was a friend of mine. Well, why don't you go after him and explain to him? Talking won't help any. When he sent me this, it meant come a-shooting. It's a terrible thing for him to do. Why? He's right. He thinks I got it coming to him. What are you going to do? What I should have done in the first place. I'm going after those skunks. I'm going to make them talk and talk truth. My father. Maybe I'll look the other way when I see him. Get that fire going, I'll rustle up some grub.
think I hear the boys coming. Hey, Slade. Here they come. donation from the Twin River Bank. Why didn't you wait till the night like we planned? Because I didn't feel like waiting. Yeah. I don't suppose more than 40 people saw you. Ah, quit your croaking. By the time that old fool McQueen wakes up and gets a posse together, we'll be halfway to Wyoming. Get me something to eat. I'm hungry. That's telling them, boss. Maybe we better get started for Wyoming. We'll start when I get good and ready. Yeah, but that Cassidy from the Bar 20 is the one I don't want catching up with me. Don't worry. He won't. I wasn't raised by Apaches for nothing. I know how to cover my trails. Come on, let's count this money. How'd you get here? I sprouted angel wings and flew. Yeah. Horns, uh, tail, most likely. Come here. Put your hands through there. Now turn around. Hey, take it easy there, young fella. Sit down and mind your manners and you won't get hurt. Oh, it's right nice of you to cook me a pot of beans like this. I wish I'd have killed you when I had a chance. <laughs> I'll bet you do. Where's the rest of the outfit? I ought to knock it out of you. Only I promised Linda I'd treat you plumb gentle. What'd you tell my gal? You keep away from her. Shanghai, you're a mean old rattlesnake. But you got the sweetest gal in the world. That's why I'm giving you a fighting chance. You can save your breath, young fella. I ain't talking. We ought to get together, Shanghai. It's a long trip to Twin Rivers. Eh? You don't say so. Now that we got this split up four ways, let's cash it away and go eat. The Shanghai ain't called us yet. Well, we'll hurry him up. Put your shares in here. Yeah, but... Come on. Better eat. The cooking's not so good in the jail. For the last time, I'm asking you, who shot Buck? It'd be pretty hard on Linda to see her paw strung up. Yes, what difference will my talking make? You tell me what I want to know, and I'll give you a chance to run for your horse. All right, Mr. Deal. Take this rope off my hand, I'll talk. Up with your hands, quick. So you're gonna do a little talking, eh? I wasn't, I was fooling him. 
I thought I told you to kill him this morning. Well, he tricked me. And you lied to me. When we're through with him, I'll tend to you. This is the gun we dropped at the ranch last night. So you squared yourself with Peters, eh? Sure I did. How much talking did you do? Uh, shoot him and get it over with. Tie him up to that post. Give me his gun. Look what we got fixed up for you, Mr. Nelson. You know what this candle's for? It's to heat the rawhide. And when heat hits rawhide, it shrinks. And you know what happens when this strip shrinks? The gun goes off. Keep your eye on that candle now. Watch it tighten up. <laughs> Shanghai's gone. We'll take care of him, too. Cleaned us out. Well, it can't be very far. Johnny! A dirty rat! So it missed, huh? Well, this one won't miss. Oh, 
Look out, Hoppy. There's three more of them around here. Oh, there is, huh? Hey, Hoppy, wait for me. What's up? Hop along, Cassidy. He's trailed us here. Let me get him. Why didn't you wait for me, Hoppy? Ah, that's wasted ammunition at this distance. Gee, thanks for helping me out of a tough spot, Hoppy. Let's get him. He's one of... Oh, I see. You still think I'm mixed up in that business at the ranch? I'm not thinking, Johnny. I'm waiting to hear you talk. You wouldn't believe anything, I'd say. Or well, maybe you'd believe somebody else. Hey, Hoskins. Hoskins, it's me, Nelson. Tell Cassidy where I was the night the Bar 20 was raided. Sure, you're all lying. Who else was in this? Well, it was Sam Porter and... and... Who are you trying to shield? <laughs> Shanghai. Shanghai's an old man, Hoppy, and... Yeah, and an old fox. I ain't asking questions now, Johnny. You get Porter and I'll get Shanghai. Go easy on him, will you, Hoppy? I... I promised somebody. Well... Well, his daughter. Well, why didn't you say so before, kid? Come on, we're losing time. Johnny said. Was. But I ain't no more. That money's going back to the bank at Twin Rivers as fast as you and me can bring it there. What happened to Johnny? Porter. Killed him. I done all I could to save him. Porter's washing them engines he's always bragging about. You throw some things together, honey. We gotta get going. Shanghai's place. Porter wouldn't be going there unless... Let's go. Hurry up, Dad. Where do you think you're going? I'm going nowhere. Just got here. That's fine. I'm scared you might be going somewhere with all this nice money. No, I brought it here for safekeeping. I knowed you'd be along. That money's going back to the bank. I'm sorry to disappoint you, honey, but you and me ain't even gone through Twin Rivers. We're heading north. Lindy's going with me, and it ain't going to be north. You ain't going nowhere. Don't, I'll go with you. That's better. Now get moving. Nelson and Cassidy are on their way here. Johnny's alive? <laughs> 
Get going, I say, or I... Looks like nobody's around. Gosh, I'm glad Porter didn't get here. I don't like the idea of him even talking to Linda. Let's ride down. Take it easy. We better look the place over careful before you show yourself. I can see from here. I'm going to talk to her now. Now, Billy, I tell you, you won't get hurt. You, Linda, get out there and call Nelson. I won't. Oh, yes, you will. And you'll smile like you're glad to see him. Get gone before I count three. One. Go ahead, Lindy, or he'll shoot you down. Two. Johnny, now don't make a bigger fool out of yourself than you already have. Linda! Johnny, look out! Happy? Sure. Just smoked up a bit. Looks like there's a double play and the old man got his. Well, there goes my last witness. I... I reckon I'll have to take my medicine and like it. Sure looks that way, Johnny. Hey, the kid didn't have nothing to do with shooting Buck Peters. Or the holding up of that bank, neither. Glad to hear that. You see, Hoppy, you had me all wrong. That sure takes a load off of my mind, Johnny. I... I, I guess I've been just about the biggest fool in the world. Well, you're not the first nor the last. I've done pretty well myself at times. Nick <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cassidy, yonder's that bank money. I was fixing to bring it back today. Lindy, is that it? He really was, Mr. Cassidy. We'll remember that later on. Well, Miss Linda, it looks like you might need some help around here. Just leave it to me, Hoppy. I can take care of everything. That's just what I was afraid of.